Actually, I'm also addressing the doctors and with the public uh, on the frustration and the situation of the internship. I know very well that the interns were here yesterday and we were with them. And we have been through this process of demonstration from the days of strike and even before the strike. And I know the feelings within everybody that we are disappointed, we are frustrated, and we are disillusioned. As SG, I must say I'm equally disappointed, frustrated, and disillusioned. And the same applies to the Ministry of Health, that they are also frustrated, disappointed, and disillusioned. I believe that even to the Kenyans, that require the entire service of doctors and doctor interns, are frustrated, disappointed, and disillusioned. We have been having a lot of meetings from last week, Tuesday, where for the first time we made a breakthrough on the issue of implementing CBA. I must say that through the week and over the weekend, we had, we had to crack figures and numbers with the union leaders together with the inter representatives to see how to comply to the return to work formula that was signed on 8th of May 2024. At that point, the number of doctors that could be posted were 552. But then there was no any criteria that could work. It's not possible to only post the doctors that graduated through the job process because the slots aren't enough. It's not possible to, graduate, to post doctors who went through the Module 2 program. It's not possible to, to post doctors based on the cohort of completion. For those who have stayed for one and a half years, for those who have stayed for two years, for those who have stayed for one year, there was no any working mechanisms that can allow for batch post, posting of doctors or the cohort posting. And we were not for the opinion to sort the issue of part of the doctors and then come back here again 30 days later to start the same process. It is tiring and it's exhausting. And therefore yesterday, we spent over 10 hours trying to crack out and to see mechanisms to make sure that all the interns are posted today, that we're going to have a commitment and a plan so that within this month, all the interns be at their places of work. We were to have a meeting from noon. And I must say, unfortunately, that meeting has not taken place today. And therefore, we are where we were yesterday, or we don't know the progress today. And partly, from the meetings, from the engagement I was having upstairs, was that it's impossible to have progress on this engagement if we are both demonstrating and sitting. So probably that's one, <laughs> that's one reason I've been given. On the other side, we are being told to proceed and do the demonstrations and the vigils because after that then we can have engagement. So here today, doctors, we are at a point that we have to re-strategize and get things done. I know we have an impasse, but our anger, our frustration, our disillusionment is not the solution now. We must know and decide to take the next possible action that is possible to solve this matter out. And as KMPDU, we are retreating to have a sitting with the National University Council leadership to discuss the mechanisms to which we can implore to resolve this matter once and for all. And that is the statement of today. Thank you.
Any questions? Any questions? No. The, not that not that there's no posting. We in our meeting, in our meeting today, we were to have a meeting today to finalize it. We were to have a meeting today to finalize it. But you've not had a meeting. So there's not been communication to the meeting. Though we had progressed on the fact that they have all to be posted and we have to comply with the existing uh, terms of regulations and the CBA. Yes. Yeah? Uh, they could not, uh, we were just only found the director administration who could not uh, give us the real reason why there's no meeting. Uh, and therefore, that's why we have to wait. Uh, for the call to that particular meeting. Because we had a, a, a we had in-depth discussion. We've had uh, meetings from last week, Tuesday, through Saturday, Sunday, to even yesterday. Yes. Yes, there was, there was a, yes. There, there was how many to go, yes. They were looking at the numbers they have based on the money they had. But then we come to realize that there's no criteria that can take half and leave the rest. So ideally, all of them have to go. So it's, it's still, I think it's still a matter of, of numbers and, yeah. So that's where we were. By evening yesterday, we had agreed that all the interns have to go. And uh, we have to get a mechanism to have them be at work within this month. But see, before it puts on paper and pin and ink, then we have to wait for it. How much are they committing? Uh, you know, initially, we had, by Sunday, we had uh, reached 552 out of 1,210 of the numbers. But by yesterday, we were in concurrence to have all of them go. Yes. Then, uh, you see, now, it, we, are, we, we, don't, we may not be privy to what has happened between yesterday and now, or any engagement that have been there, but the essence of today's engagement is to concretize this, uh, concretize this into a written document and the letters be, re be released for these doctors to proceed to their stations. No, no, you see our councils, our councils, our council meetings, uh, we, have to get, we have to engage ourselves between now and tomorrow and see whether there will be another meeting to have these discussions. Let us check. It is. Yeah, uh, all right. Yeah. yeah, we have very many options. We have, yeah. Yesterday, the interns here are saying that you, uh, as the leadership of the company, you yeah. had to understand yeah. The thing you failed. Uh, you know, we don't post. Uh, Kim Buda does not post interns, and it doesn't employ. It's a union that represents the doctors from first year medical students to the graduates, like now current interns. And therefore, what we are doing is not for an individual person. And we keep on saying that. What we are doing is not for a particular name or a particular individual, it's for the entire organization and, and profession. And that's why, at one point, many of the other interns were for the view that they just go despite the bastardization of the CBA. But then that can't happen, ideally. And because that was a very minority number, less than 10%. So in reality, what we are doing has to be that which protects the profession in entirety. Secondly, the interns are frustrated, as I've said, and they are disappointed, and they are disillusioned. I say that some of them have stayed for two years, some one year, and so. So there are time comes when that's to be something to blame. And especially when you are not at the reach of the minister, they realize what will be the next thing. Maybe the engagements, the meetings we've had all through to us make be part of their problem. Because we were for the opinion earlier that if you have 600 interns posted, then we have the next one immediately, then we can help. We can help. So that's very important. So that's the frustration that exists. Okay. Yes. Huh? Are they? I know, based on the politics of the country, 
people are all concerned. When you have a meeting with them, and the, there's all concerns everywhere. 